In this uh, part, we want to discuss two ways in which charge could be conserved. One of them is not possible and the other one is possible. So we'll first start with the way that is not possible, which is global charge conservation. So imagine you have a charge distribution and the total charge in this region is Q1. And then a very large distance away, for instance, you have another charge distribution and the total charge in this region is Q2. And let's say that the charge is conserved so that Q1 plus Q2 is always a constant, which means that dQ1 by dt plus dQ2 by dt is equal to zero if you take the derivative of both sides. That means if, for instance, somehow you can increase the charge Q1 and exactly at the same time the charge Q2 decreases with time, and this happens without any flow of charges from one region to the other. So if the charge here is increasing, it's not because the charge Q2 is passing towards this region where Q1 is, no. It's just somehow, imagine there's some mechanism that can make the charge just be created here, so it increases here, and here at the same time exactly it decreases without any flow of charge from one region to the other. So this is what would be called global charge conser uh, conservation. And these things have to happen at simultaneously because if it's not simultaneous, then the total amount of charge won't be constant at every point in time. Now, it turns out that there's a problem with the issue of simul things happening simultaneously because in the theory of rel relativity, it turns out that if you look at this problem from one point of view, th the two events could be simultaneous. But if you look at the, this, this happening from another point of view, and we're not going to discuss exactly the details, it turns out that they're not simultaneous. So actually the theory of relativity has an issue with simultaneous events, what it means for two events to be simultaneous. They may be simultaneous from one point of view and not from another point of view. So if they're not simultaneous from a per certain point of view, then the total charge is not constant because their charge here is increasing, not at the same time as this one is decreasing. So it turns out that global charge conservation cannot happen according to the theory of relativity. So this is not the way charge is conserved. It's not conserved globally.